What toxic behavior does society still make excuses for? Looks like we are quickly returning to the go to work even when you're sick way of thinking. Overworking and lack of sleep. That if you agree with a majority of people, you are correct. People have gotten absolutely insane when it comes to celebrity culture between inviting celebs to their wedding prom other big life events, bombarding their social media pages, or waiting outside their hotel rooms or houses, it's nuts. People feel so entitled to time and attention and it's just gotten worse with social media making everyone so accessible. Excusing bad behavior or toxic people because they're your family. The cute but psycho mentality. It's not cute to be toxic or treat people like shit because you think it's cute or acceptable because of your attractiveness. White collar crime. And it often appears that the more money involved in the crime and or fraud, the less likely commensurate repercussions will be brought. The consequences of big money financial fraud are widespread and significant. It ruins many lives and often leads to the death of innocence. Hustle culture. You don't need have to monetize every moment of your private life to make more money you don't need a side gig or to start your own business or to turn your hobby into a job to be happy. It's actually really scary that so many people get drawn into this way of living and don't realize they're literally missing the living part of their lives. Abuse of power by employers. Mistaking partner's possessiveness for love caring. Believing that being a parent is about power and control and not guidance. Filming someone making a mistake not crimes and posting them on the internet, without censoring their names and or faces, for them to be judged and humiliated. Using people as stepping stones for one's success. All that alpha male bullshit. This weird culture where couples go behind each other's backs and snoop through their phones is really weird to me. Especially when they get mad for not finding anything. Or when asked to see their phone they get defensive. It's very childish emo, especially when it's 30 year olds doing it. Using your kids to shore up your own online presence, like posting photos and videos of them being pranked or embarrassed. The I just say what's on my mind mentality, without thinking about how rude their comments can be. But they justify it because I say it like it is. Consuming celebrating the need for more everything and putting people who have the most on a pedestal no matter what type of person they are. Expressing outrage or offense on a third party's behalf to derail a conversation or to make it about placating them. Hustle culture. No I'm not saying don't work hard. If you want to work 80 hours a week then go for it. But if another person has other priorities, don't call them lazy. Bullying. They will pass it off as such and such were just kidding or teasing. As someone with autism, using neurodivergency as an excuse for your actions. It's never an excuse to do crappy things, it could only sometimes be a reason for them. Like if you have autism and you say something very offensive to someone and then use your autism as an excuse then that's a genuinely crappy thing to do like I mean sure you can misread some social cues but we know enough common sense to not be a downright jerk. Hustle grind culture. They try to act like the constant, mindless pursuit of more wealth is healthy and justified but they never say why. In reality, the pursuit of wealth at all costs will leave most people unhappy and overworked, longing for a time where they made less money and actually enjoyed their lifestyle. At its extremes, it's a mental illness. We have people like Kevin Hart shilling any stupid product, wasting his limited lifetime for some money that won't improve his life one iota. Hitting your kids. Emotional and mental abuse is also excused as parenting taking doors off rooms, cameras to watch your older kids, snooping guilt tripping, making decisions for them, etc. Excusing bad behavior from older people because that's how it was in their time or whatever. They have been alive this whole time with the rest of us and should have taken in new information and grown their mind a bit. I don't have all the same opinions I did 10 years ago so why should they have the same ones from 50? Forcing kids to hug and kiss relatives they don't want to. Bullying and abuse, disgustingly enough. It's normally accompanied with a not-so-healthy dose of gaslighting. Narcissism. Telling girls that if boys are mean to them that the boys must have a crush on them. Acting gangster I'm sorry but that shit is corny and cringe seriously especially when I know someone grow up in the suburbs and are acting like they came from the ghetto. Alcoholism and the behaviors with it still seem the commonplace along with giving people a pass. Shaming children of emotionally abusive parents for not taking care of them in old age. CEOs making record annual bonuses while everyone else makes peanuts. There are many toxic behaviors that society still makes excuses for. Examples include turning a blind eye to domestic violence, 
making excuses for people who behave rudely or aggressively, and excusing people who engage in racism, sexism, and other forms of discrimination. How Corporate America Looks Down on Pregnant Workers and Having Kids All they see is decreased productivity instead of treating new parents or parents to be as humans. I know we've gotten better, but it's still bad out there for a lot of people. Presidents Breaking the Law Drinking and Driving He's being mean to you because he likes you. Just ignore it. Most frequently said to young girls when being teased, bullied, or even sexually harassed by young boys. That behavior should never be justified. If it is romantic feelings that's causing that behavior, they should be taught how to express it without hurting other people. And if it's not caused by romantic feelings, then further action needs to be taken to prevent it in the future. The customer is always right mindset in the U.S. Treating workers in the hospitality and customer service industries with no courtesy or respect and then expecting perfection while verbally abusing them. Treating people like you're above them and can thus belittle and be rude to them has got to stop. Double Standards Social Media Society still makes excuses for toxic positivity, which involves pretending everything is okay even when it clearly isn't. Rape Physical and verbal abuse Racism Sexism Classism. Lying, all levels of government. Corruption. Secrecy. Greed. Collusion. Politics. Good old boys club. Gawking at mentally ill individuals making fools of themselves on podcasts and social media. The really smart person who is in a hole to everyone at work. That employers think they hold power over the employee in order to get away with rampant abuse. Employees need to swing the power back into our favor. Employers should be bending over backwards to make sure we are happy. If they don't then tough shit, we will walk at the slightest inconvenience. Jealousy. It's control not love. Age discrimination. Boys will be boys. No it means you won't hold them accountable for their shitty behavior. Editing photos to the point where they set unrealistic beauty and body standards for younger people. I think the sudden influx of quick fix. High-risk procedures is directly correlated to the over-the-top Photoshop all over pop culture and social media. Narcissism Women hitting men Greed We idolize billionaires like Gates, Bezos, Musk. We push kids towards careers that make the most money. We risk people's health and the environment just to make the bottom line look better. Anything family-related, that if you're the same blood you should automatically forgive them. People be like, not being part of something you're against them. Genital mutilation of children too young to give their consent. Boys will be boys. Drinking, it is literally giving us all cancer. Protecting the family pedophile. Being lazy and care jobs to the point of neglect. The belief that family is the most important thing in the world. It's absolutely fair to hold high value to your family but not everyone is gifted with family that is kind, not prejudiced etc. A lot of the time family are horrible, it's not bad to admit that some family members are terrible people and you don't have to respect them due to your DNA. Friends can be much better family than blood, it's always been that way and I'm glad people are recognizing that but it's still very hard to shake that belief away from society. Pretty much everything. I mean we still have sexism, racism, pedophiles, rapists, date rapists, and a whole lot of other shit that people get away with that they really shouldn't. Women hitting men. I've been assaulted by a girl and I was blamed because at one point I threw a fist out to protect my face. Then, seeing videos and whatnot of women slapping or hitting a man because they're upset and it's seen as completely normal. Boys will be boys it's used to excuse boys antagonizing and bullying girls. That shouldn't be used as an excuse for bullying but it is. It teaches girls that bad men like you. Boys will be boys should be used for when they want to play in the mud and dirt for no reason. Not for being a little brat to someone for fun. Thinking you need to devote to and die at your job. Misogyny and racial divides. We are all human beings deserving of love platonic and respect, and yet. But we're your family. No. Just no. And glorifying mental illness. It's not cute or anything. It's a struggle and it's not something to be romanticized. Boys will be boys. It is starting to change, but it's still a lot of dismissing what boys do and not holding them accountable. College boys still get off the hook for rape and fraternity hazing under the notion of boys will be boys and they shouldn't ruin their future when girls are held to a higher level from the moment they are born. Religious and military recruitment in schools 
Hitting your kids. Over half of parents still do it, it's insane. Workaholic culture. Rape. What was she wearing? We can't ruin his life. FK that street. Religious people judging others by their own set of rules. Cheating in a relationship.